We have lived on these plants for thousands of years. In the winter, our caterpillars sleep in the earth, near its roots. When the hills turn green, we come out and eat its leaves. And now we fly. All the people who come to San Francisco drive by San Bruno Mountain. It's important that they know what's really there. There are so many rare and endangered species that live on San Bruno Mountain together in concert that it is truly a miracle. And it's completely surrounded by urban development. This little plant right here is all around. That plant is uh, lupin. And lupin is the home of a rare and endangered butterfly, Mission Blue. Used to be all over San Francisco and up and down the peninsula, and uh, now it's rare and endangered. That butterfly are indicated. The Mission Blue is endangered because its habitat is critically imperiled. There's only so many places that it lives in the planet. What we're gonna see a lot of is this, which is scabiosa. It can take over the grassland and smother out the native plants. And this is prime butterfly territory, so we need to... Some butterflies are cosmopolitan. It doesn't like it here, it'll go somewhere else, it'll feed on another weed here and another weed here. But the mission blue butterfly is very specific just to the plants and other insects that are in this little island. In terms of immediate needs, the Mission Blue Butterfly, it certainly needs a sort of place that you and I say is somewhat intact in that there's not weeds encroaching onto their lands. When I was a kid, the only thing you could see was the Bay Bridge, maybe one or two things, and Coit Tower was the tallest thing on the skyline. Really? <laughs> None of these houses were here at all. I can remember very clearly the first time I hiked to the top of San Bruno Mountain. I was about five. You'd go up there after school and just nestle down in the tall grass and let the butterflies fly over you while you just sat there and watched the world. Each spring we go back, we return to the same plants and lay our eggs. We search and search, but our purple flowers are no longer here. We cannot find our place. What we're losing, obviously, is right over there. You can see the houses. They're right on top of what was Mission Blue Butterfly. That was a, a change for the whole United States, starting right here. In 1982, the Reagan administration uh, amended the Endangered Species Act to provide protection for a private landowner on San Bruno Mountain uh, who wished to build a major housing development on Mission Blue Habitat. And it became a giant loophole within the Endangered Species Act that was specifically crafted for San Bruno Mountain, but which has since become a, a precedent for well over a thousand other habitat conservation plans, as they came to be called, across the country. The idea of the plan is that the landowners would mitigate for their destruction of critical habitat by enhancing habitat elsewhere on the mountain and paying money to, in order to uh, perpetuate those projects. And removal of invasive weeds, uh, planting of host plants and nectar plants for the butterflies. The problem was that there's no standard that called for demonstrating the feasibility and success of these mitigations before the developers were allowed to proceed with their destruction. So just looking here, what would be habitat would probably be more like that ridge line up where those... We were looking at maps that were part of the original habitat conservation plan, and they show the populations of Mission Blue, where they were greatest and, and where they didn't appear to be present. That means this entire hillside is supposed to be habitat, although there's a lot of scrub up there. 
we find in these developments that some of the areas were, according to the maps, absolutely dense populations of these butterflies, which means they were dense populations of host plants and nectar plants in those very areas. Definitely a lot more weeds in here. A lot here. more fennel here. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of and we look now at what was to be only temporarily disturbed habitat, and we find them full of weeds. We find them to be marginal at best in, in very small places, maybe a few lupins here and there. There just hasn't been the enhancement and the stewardship of these areas that was promised point by point in the habitat conservation plan. about saving the butterfly? We really need everybody to speak up and tell the council no more gigantic houses in the middle of the habitat. They want to fragment the population. Are they going to do it again? 71 more 4,000 plus square foot homes. Really? I didn't even know about this. Yeah. Okay. They want to build another development up on they San Bruno Mountain. Yep, another 71 huge well, was homes. Was that already originally the plan from a long time ago still? It's, or is it something it's new? a revised plan from a long time ago. I give you a flyer about the, uh... It's a double-edged sword when you live in the same place all your life because on the one hand you're very attached and very rooted and it's very difficult because you see the changes um, and have a basis for comparison. Like the last stand, Jerry, what they split the habitat. I they know won't about last. last. Yeah. yeah. They this? won't. I will. And then, I love you. I do think that if enough people come, that the emotion of the subject will make them change their mind and not approve this. That's all right. The butterflies belong to everybody. So please write or call our city council. If this was being taken to a vote of the people, we would win, period. Can I give you a flyer? We get such an outpouring of support when we stand out here and talk to people about it, and they're just not aware of what's happening. It's right up here on the ridge. It's their last habitat, and this housing development would fragment it, and that would, yeah. Okay, we'll take a look at <laughs> Thank you so much. I think that we have this much of a chance of succeeding. But if I didn't pour my whole heart into trying, then we would have this much chance of succeeding. So we'll make the attempt and hopefully we'll get enough public members to comment to them that they'll think about it and not just rubber stamp it.